am Bill Rich, and I just pulled the first proof from the uh, Galleon Press number five, and uh, I will have to print about three more of this proof. This isn't a printing demonstration, it's to show the features of the Galleon Halfwood Press for the owner, because when I get finished, I'll be sending her the DVD of this test, and also the user's manual. She also gets a new set of of felt blankets. The galleon comes with three felt blankets, the sizing catcher and the cushion, or the forming blanket, and the roller felt blanket. Dirty joke. This, this plate is for the galleons and uh, gives me a chance to make something new. And my definition of printmaking is that if you know what it's going to look like, that isn't new. So you might as well just I want to say a couple of things about the Galleon adjustment system, the pressure adjustment. The Galleon is linked, the pressure screws are linked together so that when I turn one, they both turn. There are roller rulers that you can use as a general reference to show how high up the roller is, the top roller is. I want to point out too that I'm using a kind of uh, quick and dirty chine collet. These are stamps, some of my Cinderella stamps. And uh, I've coated the back with some Yes paste. And it should stick. Also, I'm using T registration. There's a center line running down underneath this sheet of mylar. And there's a center line mark at the top and the bottom of the plate. And there are two T's, little crosses, one for the paper, which also has center lines. and a T for the plate. I don't think that's enough pressure, so I'm going to crank it down half a turn.
because this is a really thin plate, 22 gauge copper compared to the 16 gauge copper, the first color, tighten it down as far as I can. I want to mention too that this is a rack driven press. There's a rack row of gears you might be able to see right here on the bottom edge of the bed on both sides and underneath there are gears so instead of a friction drive which most presses use this is rack driven you just have to turn the gears and the bed moves it doesn't require pressure Okay, I'm out of here. Okay. Thanks okay, for your help you. and thanks for the coffee. Well, there it is. That's the fourth of the uh, test prints for the number five galleon, which is going to Pat in Port Townsend. I'm pretty pleased with the way these tests have turned out. When I'm making presses, it doesn't give me much time for printing, except when I finish a press and I get to test it, and I sometimes get to make a new plate for it, which is the case here. Well, I'm Bill Ritchie, and thank you for watching. My copper, my plates were copper, uh, 16 gauge and uh, a 22 gauge copper plate on top of each other. I had two um, soft speedball rollers. I made a non-skid kind of pad sometimes when I'm wiping my plate. Uh, I had two kinds, uh, yeah, three kinds of ink: black charbonnel and equal parts of uh, Deep Yellow by Charbonnel and Sanguine also by Charbonnel. I modified the ink a little bit with some Daniel Smith Miracle Gel Reducer and I was using uh, talcum powder, Johnson's Baby Powder and I have a little hot plate that I made out of a portable iron.